Hi, Andrea. How are you? Hi, I'm very good. Thank you for asking. How are you? Thanks. I'm also good. Thank you so, so, so much for joining. We are so happy to having you here and so excited to talk to you. <laughs> I'm excited too. <laughs> Great. So the first thing that I would like to know is like, who is actually Andrea? At what age did you start your music career? Could you talk about like yourself a little bit? Wow, that's weird. I don't really know what to say when I talk about myself. I'm a weird person. I don't know. That's a very, very interesting question. I like to do a lot of things. I mean, I've always been like this curious person. Uh, that's how when I was young, I really knew that I, I really loved music. But as a young kid, you know, I tried a lot of things to see what I'm naturally good at, to see what I want to do. But somehow I always came back to music because it's it's like my past. I think I was born for this. I was born to sing. I was born to perform. So at a very young age, I, I had the privilege to know what I want to do with my life. And throughout like my teenage years is when I like started more seriously to think about, okay, this is what I need to pursue professionally. It's amazing. Like being able to know what you want from the very early ages. So you're quite lucky. <laughs> Yeah, I'm super lucky. I wouldn't change it for anything, I swear. That's amazing. It's so cool to hear. Uh, so also, we know that recently you've made a revamp on the song, but yeah. we're really so curious and want to know, like, was it your decision or the delegation decision on that? Well, here's the interesting thing about that. Uh, when we, we wrote this song a year and a half ago, so it wasn't like a song directly that we wanted to send to Eurovision. Uh, so when we initially wrote it and recorded it, it was three minutes and 48 seconds long, if I'm not lying right now. Um, and it always had the C part. It always had it. But when we needed to get into the competition here in our national selection, we needed to cut it out so we can fit the deadline. So that's what, how we said, OK, we're going to put the, the course to be two times at the end. Mm -hmm. But when we did win, uh, <laughs> we said, OK, we need to, we need to take this uh, part back because it's very, it's very like, I'm not going to say dramatic, but it's had this vocal point where I'm expressing emotions without even saying anything. I'm just singing. And that's why I want to improvise. I consider myself a vocalist. So I think it was very important to have that uh, part back. And I'm very glad that everybody agreed with me. <laughs> so I'm happy with the song right now. Cool. Amazing. So maybe you can just tell us a little bit about the song, like what you're trying to convey to the audience, what the song is dealing with. Um, well, uh, when we wrote the song, I was in a very, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to say dark place. It wasn't that dramatic, but I was in a toxic relationship, not a romantic one, which is interesting. I don't know if people <laughs> that, because a relationship can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. So, but it, so essentially it wasn't good for me. I wasn't, I was very frustrated. I wasn't emotionally good. I was emotionally and psychologically drained. So I didn't really enjoy that part of my life. But as a person, I never like express my feelings. I don't talk about them. So I'm glad that I have like this outlet of like music that I can express myself freely without any judgments or concern how I might look or how I may sound. And um, uh, I went into the studio and my producer like showed me a song that he wrote. He had like the first uh, sentences, like the first verse written. Uh, I just want a healthy conversation. And I was like, yeah, this is how I feel. This is this is how I feel. <laughs> and I I said, can I please write the chorus? Because I think I can like let everything out. And that's what I did. He allowed me to do it because we are both co-writers of the lyrics. And yeah, it helped me get through that point because that's what I want to try to say. This is the message that I want to convey is like breaking the patterns, breaking the habits that we have on a day-to-day -day life, especially if we're emotionally involved, it's very hard to get out of them. It's very hard to say, even if you know, like, even if you know that they're bad, it's not that easy to get yourself out of it. It takes a lot of strength and it, 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 it like, you need to be brave to do it, you know? So I woke up one day and I said, I'm not going to go through this anymore. I cannot do this. It's not good for anybody. I cannot function like I used to do. I'm not happy anymore. I cannot do it. So it took me a while to get out of that. It was a long process, but I, when I did it, when I break, when I broke the pattern, I, I, I was immediately happier. I felt freer. And that's why, that's what I wish upon anybody. If they're not happy with how they're living the, their life, if, even if it's hard, if you pick yourself up, nothing will stop you. It's just important to believe in yourself. 
Great. It's a very, very good message, I think. And yeah. these days, people need such message to like to hear and to feel. So it's amazing that actually you are like as a musician, you're connected to that topic and you can really like, you know, convey that to the audience. That's the most important thing, of course, about the music. And uh, well, the another thing is like, so why actually you decided to participate in this like uh you know, your vision, why you decided to take part and just go and just represent your country? Well, honestly, like when I was growing up, I always looked at Eurovision as like this spectacle, like it's a show. I never really saw myself on that stage. But as I as I evolved, as I, you know, as I've grown at this point, like these past two years, I kind of got interested into doing it because I've been making music and doing music professionally for like three to four four years right now and I decided that Eurovision is the place where I can be myself because that's what let me just digress a little bit I love Eurovision I love Eurovision because personally it allows you to be who you are or what you want to be because it's about different cultures it's about different aspects of what you want to show to the world and it comes directly from you and plus you can even like um promote your country a little bit because honestly i'm very happy that i won i i I am doing my song in english so it's interesting for me to put like the light on macedonia a little bit and show like hey we have international potential in this country not just me there are a lot of talented people here and i'm and i'm I'm trying to like pave the way a little bit to inspire young people like me to like maybe enter the competition you never know what can happen you know it's like a huge stage it's definitely not naive a lot of people watch it i think like 200 million yeah. that's insane that's truly insane so uh it would be it would be awesome to to perform there because i what i want is my music to resonate and i want to perform i don't want nothing more than that. that's my life so having the opportunity to go on that stage show myself to the best ability that i can being able to connect with people and then wanting to stay connected with me after your vision is what's most important to me i love the journey I love preparing for this. I love to see how many barriers I can break to, to be able to be the best version of myself. So this is like a lot of pressure. This is a new challenge that nobody can prepare you for, especially I'm 22 years old. I never had this before. So it's going to be very awesome. So that's why I wanted to participate in Eurovision is like getting ready for the real world, essentially, to see what I'm made of. (laughs) That's super cool, but aren't you afraid of that? Like, you know, you're very young and you're just starting your career and you're just like, you know, it's kind of, I don't know, for me, it would be very like scary to go on the stage and sing. I am very scared. I, I'm not hiding it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be as honest as possible with these interviews and with uh, people that I meet because it's okay to be scared. Because as I said, nobody prepares you for this. Even if you're a person who has experience, Nobody can prepare you for the pressure that is that stage and the eyes that are going to be because on you because everybody expects something from you. Oh, we want you to go to the final. Okay, I want to go to the final as well. Exactly. But, it's not, but you never know what can happen. You know what I mean? It depends on the performance. It depends on me. How am I going to perform? You know, I can perform awesome and even be awesome in the semifinal and then not get in. So I'm, I'm trying not to focus on that because my primary focus and what's my priority is to practice every day, which I'm doing right now. So I can be confident in myself and believe in myself that I'm going to give out the best performance that I can. So, and then it's up to the people and the judges if they're going to like it or not. I cannot focus on that because it's truly scary to, to be able to connect with the cameras and be on that stage. And you're just one person. And there's like 10,000 people watching their live. And then like a lot of people watching on their screens. And if I think about it, I will definitely lose my mind. So uh, I'm scared, but I also believe in my abilities. So I think that's what's going to get me the furthest that I want to go, you know? Yeah, it's all about sure you're not the goal, right? Yeah, 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 for, sure. for sure. Cool. Well, all the songs of Eurovision, they were released. So we're curious and would like to know what's your favorite one? <laughs> I don't know if I've heard them all. Honest, I'm going to be very honest because I have no time. Uh, but I got the opportunity actually to meet a couple of uh, the contestants when we were in Romania and this promo tours that we're going to have like three parties. That's awesome. I'm very glad that people are doing that. Um, so, uh, I've met the representative from Albania. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. I would like to say that she's awesome. (laughs) 
her energy, I don't think you're ready for her energy. She's like this positive bubble and it's very nice to be like near her because you kind of get it off of her as well. Uh, I've met uh, the representative from Montenegro. I also love her song because she is emotional. It's a personal song as well. So that's kind of, we can vibe on that emotional deepness of our songs. Uh, I, w- I met the guys from Czech Republic. They're awesome. I'm going to be biased. I'm going to love the song because they're <laughs> awesome. Uh, and I'm glad that we got to hang out a little bit. So I don't know, maybe like along those lines. I love the, the ballad from Italy. I didn't expect that they're going to go with a ballad this year. And I, I love the dynamic and I love their voices are beautiful. Uh, especially Mahmoud has already been on that stage. So lucky him. He doesn't have the pressure <laughs> like being there for the first time. But yeah, I don't know. I, I wish all the contestants like great performances and to do their best because I know this is a competition, but we all need to remember that we're doing this because we love it and we want to represent ourselves and our project as well as possible. So I wish everybody to have a lot of fun and just to give out the love for music that they have and to have an awesome time. Great. Same. We wish all the contestants to have fun. That's the most important thing about your vision, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what kind of stage performance we will see from your side? Maybe you can give us, you know, just some hints. <laughs> yeah, I will give you some hints. Uh, um, it's going to be minimalistic. That's the kind of person that I am. I don't really love to have a lot of things on that stage. I think that I am enough, if I do say so myself. Uh, but I have a couple of characteristics about myself that I think that are most important about me as, uh, as for my authenticity. And those are my hands and I'm very expressive when I sing. So that's kind of where the accent is gonna lie on my stage performance. Other than that, I'm not gonna say anything, but I will be the energy for like the whole stage. <laughs> Great, you, you will be the main person on the stage. So we'll just yes. focus on you. <laughs> Lucky me. Yeah. <laughs> Cool, that's amazing. So, uh, maybe, but like we can talk a little bit about your hobbies. We know that you're into sports, but we would like yeah. to know: uh, Are you into sports on a professional level, or is just a hobby for you? Well, it, it's just a hobby. Not that I haven't thought about it, you know, to to like go professionally. But as I said, I I really love music, so everything else is considered a hobby. I know people like to consider music as hobby. But no, I, I do it every day, all day. I can wake up and just sing and not even know that I'm singing. So when sports come in my life where I really need to relax because I just, I just need it. This is stressful as it is. So I used to, when I was younger, I played football and basketball. For sure, basketball is my favorite sport. But as of right now, I started uh, like, I don't know, I trained fitness for a long time. And now recently I started um, training kickbox. And I really love it. I have to say, like, having muscles for me is very, I love it. I love feeling strong. So being able to, you know, uh, fight all the time, get all of the angry stress, everything out of me. And I, I really love it. So to anybody who wants to make change, a positive change, I suggest going to something that they will enjoy. Because I get the question a lot, like, how do you train all the time? And I'm like, guys, you have to like what you do, no matter what it is. Exactly. Because if you don't like it, you're not going to do it. Like, obviously, do you think I like to go outside and run? No. So I don't do it. <laughs> I have something else that I want to do, you know? So, yeah, I think training is uh, very important, especially for performance because we, performers, because we need that conditioning to be able to do all of it, you know? And it yeah. gives you a positive state of mind for sure. Exactly. I totally agree. Sports is important. So everyone who is watching us, go and do your sport. <laughs> That's so important. <laughs> Cool. Uh, but about the all the Eurovision songs from your country, what do you think? Like, which one is your favorite? And if you can, maybe just you can just sing a little bit your favorite song. Oh, wow. Um, from Macedonia? Yes, from Estonia. Uh, well, I have to say that, well, most recently I have to go with Tamara Todovska because she really did us proud. Hashtag proud. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Really, she knew what she was doing. They knew what they were doing with it. So I'm really, I'm really happy that she did like the, I think she did the best out of all of our contestants so far in Eurovision. But I don't know, uh, I don't know if, I, um, this is going to sound stupid. I don't know if I know like the lyrics. I was singing it like three hours ago because like, I kind of felt that something like this was going to happen. I felt it. And now I'm embarrassed. Uh, I don't know how. Do you, no, you probably. Just, you know, 
Raise your voice and say it proudly. Show them what it means to stand up proudly. Tell them this is me and thanks to you. I'm proud, I'm proud, I'm proud. I don't know something like that. I butchered the lyrics, but <laughs> the message was there. Yes, the <laughs> message, the energy was there. That's the most important part. <laughs> <laughs> Great, amazing. Thanks so much. And maybe you can also name one of the Azerbaijani entries at Eurovision that you really liked of all time. Uh, out of, uh, from which country? Or for Azerbaijan, like, like from Azerbaijani entries. Oh, can you give me, I, I really don't remember like this. Can you give me like the titles or something so I remember? Mm. Because there are a lot of songs. Let's not underestimate that there are like 41 songs every year. <laughs> Exactly. That's insane. So when people ask, like, this happened to me like on a different interview, which is your favorite entry from Spain? And I was looking at the guy like, I swear I know the songs. I just can't remember right now on the spot. <laughs> exactly. But maybe the one that wait, you won. won. Actually... Wait, 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 wait. I remember. You won. I, like, yes. Yes. Won. It, was, it was in 2011. We won. Uh, El and Nikki. I, I remember the melody. I yeah. don't remember the, the... I can I can help you but I'm so bad at singing. <laughs> I, 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 I mean you've accomplished a lot on, on your vision so congrats to that. I mean I think you've had amazing entries, but like as I said, your vision is kind of an unpredictable place to be because you can you can never know what the, the audience will want to hear in that certain moment. Sometimes it's a ballad, sometimes it's a fast song, and sometimes it's just by your performance. So you never know. Yeah, exactly. But I, I really wish you lots of luck and, you know, just go and show them what you've got because we really believe in you and we like your song, your performance, and we are so, so happy to know you and wish you lots of luck. Really, Just enjoy the stage so and be yourself, of course. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time. Thank you so much Thank for you. having me. Thank you. Have a good day. Then bye. Thank you. Bye.